Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. The Mox Masters Invitational is coming this October 20th through the 22nd in Columbus, Ohio. Qualified players compete in the $10,000 CEDH tournament. There is a last chance qualifier on Friday, October 20th. Earn cash and points and the top four automatically qualify for the Invitational. Didn't qualify? No problem. There is a CDH Open tournament on Saturday, October 21st. Come and compete for $4,000 in prizes. Sunday, we will have booster drafts and on-demand CDH pods and free play all day long. Check out the link below for more info. It is going to be a great weekend and we hope to see you there. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Cory, piloting the partner pair of Malcolm Kenai Navigator and Tana the Bloodsower. This is a teamer deck that combos Malcolm with Glenhorn Buccaneer to win the game. Cory's opening hand contains a Mana Crypt, a Braid, Professional Facebreaker, Allosaurus Shepherd, Gamble, Flooded Strand, and a Jeweled Lotus. Next, we have Ryan, piloting Jensen Cartholion Druid Exile with Lurus of the Dream Den as the companion. This is a combo deck that uses Hermit Druid to mill its library and win the game with Asa's Oracle. Ryan's opening hand contains a Polluted Delta, Arcane Signet, Imperial Seal, Demonic Tutor, Vampiric Tutor, Exotic Orchard, and a Snap. After that, we have Mike, piloting Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. This is a mid-range deck that uses Hullbreaker Horror or Tidespout Tyrant to generate infinite mana and win the game. Mike's opening hand contains a Mox Amber, Mana Drain, Yava Maya Coast, a Flooded Strand, and his London Mulligans are Exotic Orchard, Fierce Guardianship, and Wandering Archaic. Finally, we have Zack, piloting the partner pair of Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist, and Tana the Bloodsower. This is a stacks deck that makes sure nobody has fun until it wins with a Godo combo. Zack's opening hand contains a Sacred Foundry, Forest, Mana Crypt, Soul Ring, Null Rod, Sanctum Prelate, and an Unexpectedly Absent. Without further ado, let's kick off this salacious sacrilegious smooth smuggling. Cory had the most expensive shoes and gets to start us off. Cory draws for turn and plays a Flooded Strand. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He sacrifices it to help cast his commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. He cracks his Flooded Strand, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a niv at Perun. He casts a Mana Crypt. He ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He passes. Mike draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He gives the turn to Zack. Zack draws and plays a Forest. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Unexpectedly Absent. He casts his Commander, Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist. He casts a Null Rod. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Cory loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Zack with Malcolm. Zack takes it, Malcolm triggers, and Cory creates a treasure. He passes. Ryan draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He casts a Mana Crypt. He ships the turn. Mike draws and plays a Yavamaya Coast. He taps it to help cast his commander, Kennen, Bonder Prodigy. He casts a Mox Amber. He ends the turn. During his upkeep, Zack loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cory with Arden. Cory takes it, and in his second main phase, Zack plays a Sacred Foundry into play tapped. He gives the turn to Cory. During his upkeep, Cory loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and pays 2 life to cast Detaxian Probe, targeting Ryan. He looks at Ryan's hand and draws a card. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Malcolm. Ryan takes it, Malcolm triggers, and Cory creates a treasure. He ships the turn. At the end of Cory's turn, Ryan cracks his Scalding Tarn, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts up Vampiric Tutor. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses 2 life. The turn moves to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts Demonic Tutor. He fetches up a card into his hand. After 3 tutors over 3 turns, Ryan ships the turn to Mike. Mike draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Kennen. Ryan takes it, and Mike passes. During his upkeep, Zack wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cory with Arden. Cory takes it, and in his second main phase, Zack has Birds of Paradise. He gives the turn to Cory. 
During his upkeep, Cory loses his mana crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Malcolm. Ryan takes it, Malcolm triggers, and Cory creates a treasure. He passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his mana crypt roll. He draws and plays a wooded foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a tropical island onto the battlefield. He casts Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters, and in response, Ryan casts a Mana Consultation. In response, Cory pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, countering Consultation. Oracle's trigger resolves, and Ryan looks at the top two, putting one on top and the rest on bottom. With his win countered, Ryan ships the turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Mike casts a Veil of Summer, drawing a card. Mike draws and plays a Command Tower. He moves to combat and attacks Cory with Kennen. Cory takes it, and Mike ends his turn. During his upkeep, Zack loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and casts a Sword of Fire and Ice. In response, Mike casts Mana Drain, countering Sword. Zack moves to combat and attacks Mike with Arden. Mike takes it, and Zack passes. During his upkeep, Cory loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Malcolm. Ryan takes it, Malcolm triggers, and Cory creates a treasure. Still unable to cast any spells, he ships the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts a Wheel of Fortune. In response, Cory casts Mystical Tutor. In response, Mike casts Swan Song, targeting Tutor. Mystical Tutor is countered, and Cory creates a 2 2 bird. Then Wheel of Fortune resolves, and each player discards their hand and draws 7. Ryan plays a Tundra for turn. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Forbidden Orchard. He casts a Deathrite Shaman. He passes. Mike draws, and in his first main phase, he adds 3 colorless through Mana Drain. He plays a Rejuvenating Springs for turn. He casts Seedborn Muse. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Kennen. Zack takes it, and Mike ends his turn. Mike untaps with Zack through Seedborn. During his upkeep, Zack loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Savannah onto the battlefield. He casts Yasharn, Implacable Earth. Yasharn enters, and Zack fetches up a Plains and a Forest into his hand. He passes, discarding to hand size. Mike untaps with Cory through Seedborn. During his upkeep, Cory loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Taiga. He casts Curiosity, targeting Malcolm. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Malcolm. Mike takes it, Malcolm and Curiosity trigger, Cory draws and then creates a treasure. In his second main phase, Cory casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Imperial Recruiter. He gives the turn to Ryan. Mike untaps with Ryan through Seedborn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Bayou. He pays 3 to put Lurus of the Dream Den into his hand. He casts Lurus. He ends his turn. At the end of Ryan's turn, Mike casts Worldly Tutor, fetching up a Thrasios Triton Hero onto the top of his library. Mike draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He casts Thrasios Triton Hero. He ships the turn to Zack. Mike untaps with Zack through Seedborn. During his upkeep, Zack wins his Mana Crypt roll. Still in his upkeep, he casts Enlightened Tutor, fetching up a Colossus Hammer onto the top of his library. He draws and plays a Plains. He casts Colossus Hammer. He moves to combat and Arden triggers. Zack attaches Colossus Hammer to Arden. He attacks Mike with Arden and Yasharn. Mike takes it all, and Zack passes. At the end of Zack's turn, Mike activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Summoner's Pact into his hand. Mike untaps with Cory through Seedborn. During his upkeep, Cory continues his losing streak by losing another Mana Crypt roll and taking three damage. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Mike with Malcolm. Mike takes it, Malcolm and Curiosity trigger, Cory draws a card and creates a treasure. In his second main phase, Cory plays a Fiery Islet. He casts a Mystic Remora. He ships the turn. At the end of Cory's turn, Mike activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Turn Timber Symbiosis into his hand. Mike untaps with Ryan through Seedborn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Gamble. Mystic Remora triggers and Cory draws. Ryan fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Chrome Mox. He casts Underworld Breach and Cory draws through Remora. In response, Mike casts an offer you can't refuse, targeting Underworld Breach. Remora triggers and Cory draws again. Breach is countered and Ryan creates two treasures. He activates Deathrite Shaman's first ability, exiling a land and adding a red. He recasts Underworld Breach through Lurus. Cory draws and in response, Cory casts Veil of Summer. Veil resolves and Cory draws. Underworld Breach resolves, and Ryan escapes to Mana Consultation, exiling three cards from his graveyard. Cory draws, and in response, Zack has Nature's Claim, targeting Underworld Breach. Breach is destroyed, and Ryan gains four life. Demonic Consultation resolves, and Ryan names Chain of Vapor. He exiles the top six, and then exiles, and exiles, and exiles all but the last three cards of his library, putting Chain of Vapor into his hand. He casts Chain of Vapor, targeting Thassa's Oracle. In response, Cory casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, targeting Chain of Vapor. Swat resolves, and Cory changes the target of Chain of Vapor to Yasharn. Yasharn is bounced, and Zack sacrifices a land to continue the chain, targeting Seedborn Muse. In response, Mike cracks his Verdict Catacombs, pays a life, and fetches up a forest onto the battlefield. Seedborn is bounced, and Mike sacrifices a land, continues the chain, targeting Null Rod. Null Rod is bounced, and Zack ends the chain. After all of that, Ryan moves to his end step, Mike activates Thrasios, and in response, Zack casts Red Elemental Blast, targeting Kennen. Remora triggers, and Zack pays. Kennen is destroyed, and Thrasios' ability resolves. Mike strides one, and reveals a Grim Monolith into his hand. The turn moves to Mike. Mike draws and plays a Turn Timber Serpentine Wood into play untapped, paying 3 life. He recasts his commander, Kennen Bonder Prodigy. He casts Basalt Monolith. 
Remora triggers and Cory draws. In response, Cory taps Fiery Islet to help channel Ottawara, Soaring City, bouncing Kinnon back to Mike's hand. Basalt then resolves, and Mike passes the turn. During his upkeep, Zack loses his mana crypt roll and takes 3 damage. Zack draws and plays a forest. He recasts Yasharn. It enters and he fetches up a planes into his hand. He casts Helm of the Host and Cory draws. He moves to combat, Arden triggers, equipping Helm of the Host to Yasharn. Helm triggers, creating a copy of Yasharn. He attacks Cory with the Yasharn token and Mike with Arden. Cory blocks with the bird and Mike blocks with Thrasios. Both blockers die and in his second main phase, Zack recasts Nullrod. Remora triggers and Cory draws. Zack ends his turn. During his upkeep, Cory finally wins his Mana Crypt roll and then lets his Remora die. Still in his upkeep, he casts Noxious Revival, putting Glenhorn Buccaneer from his graveyard onto the top of his library. He draws and plays a Command Tower. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Malcolm. Zack takes it, Malcolm and Curiosity trigger, Cory draws and then creates a treasure. In his second main phase, he casts Phantasmal Image. It enters as a copy of Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters and Cory looks at the top four, putting one on top and the rest on bottom. He gives the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a City of Traitors. He recasts Underworld Breach through Luris. Breach resolves and he escapes Snap, targeting Thassa's Oracle. Oracle is bounced and Ryan untaps two lands. He recasts Thassa's Oracle. In response, Mike casts Summoner's Pact. He fetches up an Endurance into his hand. He evokes Endurance, exiling a green card. Endurance enters and targets Ryan. In response, Ryan escapes Demonic Consultation, exiling three cards. He names Demonic Consultation, exiling his library. Still in response, he taps Deathrite Shaman, exiling a land and adding a black. He escapes Demonic Consultation again, exiling the remainder of his graveyard through his escape cost. He then names You Are Already Dead through Consultation and exiles nothing because his library is already empty. Endurance's trigger resolves and Ryan puts Consultation onto the bottom of his library. Thassa's Oracle enters and with more blue devotion than cards in his library, Ryan wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a crazy game. Congrats to Ryan on his win. He bided his time playing around Zack's stacks pieces and waited until everyone else had used up their interaction before going for the win. He was able to do it in two turns in a row thanks to Luris. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Nullrod. It completely shut off Cory and slowed down Mike and Ryan's development. So many decks rely on artifacts for mana or combos. Nullrod completely slams the brakes on these strategies. If your deck can be built to include it, it is a game changer once it resolves. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.